What up, clan? It's Wednesday, it's spring break, and we are here at Harkins Movie Theater to see Lego Movie. You guys excited? Yeah. Yeah, yeah? Everyone's been talking about this movie nonstop for the last like three weeks, however long it's been out for. Everyone says it's awesome, adults, kids, no one has complained whatsoever, so we are anticipating uh, great things. It's actually Brian Lanning's fault that I'm here. I, I, I wouldn't normally come and, and see a cartoon movie like this, a kid's movie, uh, because I have other movies I'd rather see, adult movies that I can't take the kids to. And I'd just let mom take them, or my mom, or grandma, or whatever. But uh, Brian Lanning, he's been talking about this movie nonstop, and so it's his fault. It's your fault, Brian Lanning, that I'm coming to see this movie right now with the kids. <laughs> It's like the superhero wall. We got Spider-Man 2, we got Captain America 2, we got Guardians of the Galaxy, and we, of course we've got X-Men. Super excited for this one. Everything is awesome! That movie was awesome. I laughed a lot. Did you guys laugh a lot? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Funny stuff? Yeah. Yeah, good stuff guys, good stuff. Good call, Brian Lanning, good call. <laughs> Time for a little car wash action. Not nearly as cool as the car wash we normally go to where it's got the triple foam action and the lava. But it'll do for now. All right, so in the spirit of Lego movie, we are home and we are going to put together Bryce's Legos. He's got two sets that he's not completed or finished yet. One that I think he got for his birthday, or no, he just bought it. We just bought it for him. He got it with his own money, that sort of thing. But then he got one for Christmas. They're part of the Galaxy Squad. You had this put together one time, didn't you, Rice? Yeah. Yeah. And then it broke. Again. But then um, some something fell off and it was too hard to put back on. So then oh, I it accidentally you, broke. I thought so you we decided it. to nuke it and start from scratch. Oh, Snap it off. It's coming along. It's coming along. Yeah. Oh, Daddy. We got our cockpit right here. Oh, Daddy, look at it. We got the back part here, the one wing. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have a spaceship. Spaceship. We got this little bug alien dude on a little speeder. And this bad boy right here. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is the cool part, right? So these wing, this thing totally spins around. So like he can turn without like him actually turning. So like when he wants to turn the ship, it just goes and it turns without the cockpit turning. Got blasters here and blasters in the back. Hard enough. All right, so that's the first one. Now on to the big boy right here. This is the one you got for Christmas. It's a giant like mech with these little bug guys on the sides. It's gonna be awesome. And we have our enemy forces, bag one. Bug looking aliens right here. Gonna take a little Lego break to hang out outside with the neighbors. Somebody built a new ramp. Nice. There you go, there you go. There you go. So uh, kids are riding their bikes around the block and uh, Bryce had started racing his sister and her friends and got ahead of him and turned back to look and see how far ahead he was and he clipped a mirror of a parts car. Crashed, skinned up his knee a little bit, but he broke the mirror of the car and he was pretty upset. He was like, Dad, I broke, I, 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 messed, I messed up a car. He couldn't even talk straight. He was like, I ran into the mirror and I broke the mirror and oh, Dad, I, I, and he didn't know what to say, he didn't know what to do, right? So we went and assessed the situation. The mirror is broken. Don't know for sure if he did it. Most likely he did. Um, did a quick Google search to see how much a mirror costs. Not too expensive, like 25 bucks. So uh, we went and we uh, knocked on the door of the owner uh, of the car. Ended up being uh, the owner's brother who, who had left it there for the last like week or so. And uh, the guy was so cool. He's like, dude, I totally admire you guys' honesty. Thank you for coming and telling us. Don't even care about it. Don't even, don't even worry about it. But I felt bad. I know it was only like 25 bucks. He said his brother didn't, wouldn't even care. So we gave him a 20 spot, said here you go. You know, if your brother cares, great. If not, there's 20 bucks for your troubles for having a smashed mirror. But he totally admired our honesty and, and the, you know, respect for the fact that 
we came up and Bryce actually came up and apologized and he shook his hand and said he was sorry and whatnot. And now it's time for some dinner. Uh, we went to the store a couple days ago to get the stuff for the, the jalapeno poppers. Uh, we bought a few of these uh, skillet meals. They're, they're awesome. It's kind of like an all-in-one meal. You just throw it in a skillet, cook it for 10 to 15 minutes or so. Uh, this particular brand is pretty cool because it's 100% natural. Um, no artificial ingredients, no preservatives. Minimally, minimally processed. But it's the first time I've ever had these, open nature. We're doing Thai basil shrimp and curry rice. Yeah! Decided to go ahead and make two of them. Second one's creamy chicken florentine with farfal pasta, whatever that means. All in one skillets like this, it's got the sauce, the noodles, the meat, the vegetables, all in one. You just kind of throw it in there, it melts down, simmers, good to go! There's the first one right there. Curry shrimp with rice and vegetables, good stuff, good stuff. We got a little Thai, we got a little Italian. Doing a little mix up, huh? Mix mash. Good. You like the curry, Sierra? Sierra wasn't a big fan of the curry when we got the Thai food um, a couple weeks ago. Bryce said it was okay, but not something he'd order again. So they, they like this curry. Picking up where I left off, and so far, this is where I'm at. Got like a spaceship looking part on this piece, and this is like the front of the mech or something. I don't know. But we just opened up the third bag for this and started into the second book. This thing is massive. You know you guys have been playing Minecraft for like two hours now? Oh man, sorry. All right guys, I'm finally done with this bad boy and check this out, this is, this is way cooler than I thought it was gonna be, all right? Here's the mech, all right? Per the instructions, this is how this bad boy looks, all right? But check this out. So this bad boy comes off, right? If I can reach him right there, right? So then this is guy's like in a ship, right? Right? And then check this out. <laughs> and now he, he's got backup. That's awesome. Isn't that awesome? Oh. So then you got this guy flying around, and this guy got his back up, right? As then the aliens come in <laughs> for an attack, and they call him back up from this guy. <laughs> That's awesome. This is awesome. This is freaking awesome. So there we go. It's, uh, it's about 12.30 in the a.m., and I finally finished all the Legos. Kids have been still playing Minecraft. They've been catching up on shows. We woke Mommy up. And now we're gonna call it a night. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow for another day of spring break. Vlog on. Well, we didn't have the epic adventure that I was hoping to have, but we certainly did have a fun day. The Lego movie was lots of fun. Got to eat In-N-Out Burger, which is always a treat. And then we came home and we finished all of Bryce's Legos. Sierra still has a few that we need to repair and fix uh, that got broken at some point. We'll probably do that here in the next day or two. But uh, at least Bryce's are all set up. And he is super stoked to be able to play with all these now because they're so intricate and there's so many different pieces that he can he can have a little army. There's enough guys there to have a little army. Another day of spring break lays ahead. Mason and Braden are going to hang out uh, in tomorrow's video. So uh, be sure to stay tuned. Check back tomorrow to see what we do with all those crazy kids.